Hello everyone. <clears throat> I hope you are well uh, during uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, I will show you how to download your data from different data links. Uh, some data sources provide their data by um, Python code or some uh, data sources give their data uh, links to download. So there is two things like if you have the Python code so you could download your data very easily by using like Anaconda or uh, Python is fine but when some sources give you data links like this they will give you many links to download so if you download ma manually one by one it will take time uh, it, it time consuming right so what we can do uh, to solve this issue we could use IDM internet download manager it will help you to download your data very quickly there is also option like is saying you can use that webget like wget in Linux you could download the data from this link but it's very slow so the quick solution is used to IDM so here there is the products for the GPM my aim is not to show you and the precipitation data uh, download uh, downloading my aim is to uh, download your data from different links so here this is the data that I want to download the GPM data download link you just click on open new link tab so it will pop up this window here different options what we need to select we need to select the final run this is the data for research quality graded global multi-satellite precipitation data if you want to download this data we need to click here then it will give you uh, different options the data covered like from 2000 June 2000 to present what is the special resolution etc etc there are different options like data sources where well, from where you, you could download your data there's a first option is this this I like this then there there is a, another option okay so the data is the half hourly like 30 minutes then daily monthly so there is option if you want to download your data 30 minutes or like half hourly then you just go to this link or if you want to download your data day if you want to download daily data so uh, you, you could use this link or uh, you could use this link if you want to download your monthly data so I like this 30 minutes data so open <coughs> the 30 minutes data okay you can see five yeah four options four five options right if you use these four options you can get your data in HDF this is the default format but if you want to download your data in NetCDF format NetCDF format is very convenient to use uh, you can use in MATLAB NCL etc even NCL can use the HDF data even MATLAB can, but NetCDF is more familiar and uh, useful for us. So, if you want to get the NetCDF data format, we need to open the subset data link. You just click here, then you will get these options. So, for the download methods, if you want to get the NetCDF format, then we need to use this one, get file subset using the this, this subsetter. So we don't need to subset. This uh, link will generate file links supporting geospatial search and crop, selection of variables, regreading, etc. If you want to regret, it will do everything for you so you don't need to mm, download the original files in HDF format then you need to select the range of time just I want to download one day data 
to show you how to download uh, data quickly by using IDM. So here, I'm going to give 2000, okay, this is June, right? Six, then zero, one day. Then the range. You need to know your uh, special, uh, like, data range. So you, you, sh you should know where you want to download your data. So here, uh, negative 180 to positive 180 means this is the longitude. X is the longitude. Then, a negative 90 degree to positive 90 degree means this is the latitude, like from north to south. So this is negative means west, this part. A positive means this part east. Negative 90 means this uh, latitude, negative, like south. A positive 90 means north, okay? So I just want to download from 10 degree longitude to 10 degree long, uh, sorry, 15 degree longitude, even 10 degree latitude, so 15 degree latitude. I want, just want to download for a small region. Okay. Then which variable do you want to download? I know my variable. I just want to download this variable. I don't need to hold variable. So bef uh, before you download your data, you, know, you need to know your data, need to know your data. And which variable do you want to download? Otherwise, it will give you the big file. So maybe you don't need to download the whole variables. Okay. Now you see our output format is NetCDF. Get data. Okay. Just we need to download this this link as NetCDF. Okay, download this link. Show in folder. Okay, this is our link. We want to download the data. So before you open this link to your IDM, you need to uh, change the save to option so i just want to download this data in my in this folder like here i have created one folder so i just want to keep my data in this folder so before you import your uh, data you need to change this folder otherwise your file will be downloaded in the download folder this is the default folder right okay so let's begin import import text file this is our text file, and from there we, we want to download our data. Then start query. Okay, it's, it's downloading, right? But if you are very new user, like you just open your data in Internet Download Manager, it will pop up the username and password. Like here, what I said, I have created, uh, yeah. I have already registered. I have created my account. So in every data sources, you need to log in with your uh, email and password, like username or password. So this username and password, you need to save to the IDM. Okay. So I already saved my username and password. That's why it's, uh, it didn't pop up. So for your case, it will pop up, then you, you should give the username and password, then you will get the option like save uh, username and password. So when you save username and password, so every time you don't need to give your username and password. So it will, you will give your username and password and check the save uh, username and password, then you will enjoy to download your data. Okay, let's see our data. Uh, okay. F. Yeah, you see, I kept my data here. My data is there. Okay, thank you.
If you are new here, please subscribe to my channel.